And ladies and gentlemen, the primary reason why we came to Disneyland in the first place was for the grand opening of Pixar Pier. Just a few days ago, Pixar Pier opened and we came, one of the reasons I should say, to check it out. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Man, I would have been entirely <laughs> Nick's Snacks, Gnome Sweet Gnome Alaska, the new Lamplight Lounge. Interesting. It may be completely rethemed, but it still seems very familiar to me. Oh, look, you can see all the different characters inside the. That is so cool. It's like a toy story. That is really cool. Are they different? Oh, they're different on each coast. Yeah. So one of the first things you come up to while you're on Paradise Pier is the adorable snowman frosted treats. It's basically lemon ice cream with a slush if you want. And look at the line. Line's still going. Line is still going. People are waiting this long for flipping ice cream. And I think this line is for uh, in credit coaster, but yeah, this line stretches all the way over here just for the adorable snowman. This over here is the entrance to the Incredit coaster. And then just beyond that, you have a little cookie stand called Nom Nom Cookies. Little fireball Jack Jack. <laughs> Nom Nom Cookies, that's what it's called. We'll be heading out this way a little bit later because we have a fast pass for that. Just keep walking on through different stands. Over here at this little carousel thing, it's gonna be uh, Jesse's Critter Carousel. That's what it's gonna be. One of the new food locations over here is Poultry Palace. You can get yourself some fried chicken and coleslaw in this cute little uh, box that they have. They serve it in, they serve it in a cute little box. Another new option over here is Senor Buzz Churros. Look at how awesome that is. Another food offering that we have is the Angry Dogs, or as some people like to refer to it as the Slightly Annoyed Dogs. Nothing special about it, uh, just uh, regular hot dogs that aren't even really big, overpriced, and served with chips. So nothing super special about that. Over here we have some of the Midway games. Okay, we're going over this way. We have some of the Midway games over here, themed after Wally and La Luna. Heimlich, Bullseye. Have a whole bunch of fun stuff over here. And this is how people get their money stolen. You want what? Mo. Mo? Oh, geez. They have one of those giant granite stone balls over here, but it's the Pixar ball. That's awesome. They have one in Tomorrowland over at Disneyland and in Disney World, and now they have one over here. That is really cool. Coda's having fun with it, trying to stop it. The 
attraction with quite possibly one of the weirdest names, the Pixar Pal Around, formerly known as Mickey's Fun Wheel. Uh, they recolored it and rethemed it, all Pixar themed gondolas, and now it is Pixar Pal Around. That is uh, quite interesting. Not a fan of the name, but we'll be riding this later once the line dies down a little bit. Because right now it's a 60 minute wait for a non swinging because we'll be damned if we're gonna be going on a swinging gondola. Hell no. And over here at the edge of Pixar Pier, they have a giant door that says Pixar Pier. This is actually where Paint the Night steps off every night when they do it over here. Awesome. Looks really cool. Mike and Sully are just walking around. Get this party started. That's the dream set of down. The don't panda dive. Adorable and incredible. So big, and yeah. because I was bigger than I than I you know am now, I haven't been able to ride a decent roller coaster in about three or four years. So I don't really count rock and roller coaster because that's just straight launch. This one actually has drops, and I was nervous to actually get on this ride again. Like I had rode, rode California Scream before, but I hadn't you know been on it in quite a while. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, it kind of sucks that they had to rethink California Screaming, but at the same time, this is good. This is a good overlay. It's fun. The music is great. The story is easy to follow. 
here chasing Jack Jack around as he's running loose with his powers. So it's it's awesome. I loved it. It was a fantastic ride. I would recommend it for anyone. It's not super intense either. So you might see different like launches and drops, but it's not it's not an intense ride at all. Highly recommend it to anyone who's tall enough. And I think Coda enjoyed it too.